Hi, I'm Alton. Welcome back to my channel. Or, welcome to my channel if this is your first time. If this is your first time, or if you're a repeat offender, definitely you will want to subscribe. I bring you a little bit of everything from automobiles to everyday life material. And of course, this is the 2017 Audi A4. As you can see from the back here, 2.0T Quattro. So I'm going to jump inside one of the newest vehicles from Audi. It replaced the existing A4. Satellite radio, excuse me for the music. So I'm going to turn that down. A little something to help me prepare for my day. Of course, that would be the music. Show you a quick glimpse of the window sticker here. 2017 A4 Quattro. Quattro Audi's legendary for that. This one actually gives you 252 horsepower. Definitely tune in to my channel for other existing information on the Audi A4, and you can see here as well. So you actually have the Monsoon Gray Prestige Package, Warm Weather Package, Sport Package. This one actually comes in at a whopping 51725 But don't fret. The starting price, as you can see at the very top, is actually 349 Now I'm going to throw this away and show you if you were preparing to drive your vehicle. Now, I'm not going to be able to turn it off because I actually have the key tucked away into my gym bag. I'm going to jump out, and if you're walking up to your vehicle, you have the key in your pocket. It's key sensitive. Key can be in your pocket, purse, or wallet. I'm just going to reach down and grab the door handle. When you grab, it actually opens the door, so you don't need the key to press the lock, unlock, anything of that nature, nor insert it, insert it within a keyhole. Preparing to drive your vehicle. This is your first time. Salesman didn't have enough time to actually walk you through it. All of your power options here with your window lock in the back. Audi actually uses the joystick. Windows or mirrors should primarily already be in drive mode, but just in case you need to alter them, that's neutral. You're going to flip to the left or right. We're going to go to the left side, and you just use it just like a joystick. You can go up and down or side to side. So our mirrors are set. We're going to come back. You have your seat memory, just in case you have your memory locked in. And remember, that's more than just your seat. That's your side mirrors, radio station, things of that nature. Locks, unlock. Of course, that's going to happen as soon as you open the vehicle. We want to make sure our lights are in automatic mode. Just in case you need fog lamps, they're actually found along the bottom here. And heads-up display. Now, I'm going to show you exactly what that is. You can see the zero in the middle there. That's your heads-up display, so that can give you information from navigation to your speed as well. That will be adjusted here. So you would take this to turn it off. You can press to turn it back on. You can press again. And you're going to twist left and right. I'm going to take you back up. That controls your height. So that is in position. We're ready to go there. To your stern wheel, as I straighten up. Now, up top, depending on what you want to see displayed here. That's basic car information. I'm going to use my two buttons up top here. You can go over. That's music information or entertainment. That's your connection. If my phone was connected, that would actually be my phone book or my previous calls. And if I shift over, that's the navigation, which is something Audi is actually legendary for. The best part about it, they can actually do it, or you can move it over to do Google Maps, but you've got to do Audi Connect for that, which is a monthly charge. That's pretty nice when you go into Google Maps. You do have some other competitors which are doing that now. The S-Class has pretty much always done it in their late uh, models lately. Uh, Mercedes has moved over to a number of vehicles in which they will allow you to do that now. And, of course, Volvo is now on the scene with their XC90, S90, uh, to where you can move that information over to your dash. When you come back to the stern wheel, the button here, you can zoom in and out. This just allows you to skip through information. For instance, if I was back looking for a radio station, I can use my thumb wheel to come down and select by pressing. I can use the button here. You can see where the information is in the corner. That is using your side buttons here. Audi is pretty confusing when it comes to that. You definitely have to know what you're doing. This just brings up additional information, the two items on the side here. You're primarily using your thumb wheel to toggle between that information behind the steering wheel and pressing in to select. If you want to change your view, you can press the view here. Let me show you what that does. All that does is makes your different items 
on your screen behind the steering wheel, larger or smaller, just depending on the view you want. And to go back, you can always press here. If you don't like the view, you can go back to the, to the next one. Or if you need to go back to any additional information once you go into something in your screen. If you go off to the right side on the steering wheel, you actually have your navigation. Favorites, you can set that to alter a couple of different things. You will have your telephone, just in case you need to make a call or hang up a call. This is voice control, so you can use that to do navigation and everything there. This is going back and forth from song to song. So you can actually see behind the steering wheel as I go back and forth. You can see my stations changing. This will be your volume, which is here. That's also going to be a select button as well. So if you need to mute, you can press. If you need to bring that volume back up, you can press once more and it brings your volume back. I always love the look of the navigation, so we're going to shift there. If you want to go manual mode at any time, you can shift your gears manual if you see the need to do so, but we're going to stay away from that as of right now. Audi does something a little bit different. Everybody actually consolidates and moves your turn signals to one stem, but Audi actually does the stem over to the side, which is for your turn signal, also for your parking, and that will also can control your bright lights, as you can see there, the icon just inside of my finger when I actually pull that. Cruise control is on the bottom. They did change that. Now to set it, you simply press in, that sets it. Now they have one, sorry, now they have one, two. That is one mile every time you click. You're gonna feel a little bit of a hump. Once you go beyond the hump there, that is actually five miles per hour. So you can actually shift and move that greatly just in case you're speeding and you see someone you don't wanna see, you can go one, two, and that's five miles up or down. If you go to the center, our gear shift, now there again, Audi can be confusing. So to shift to drive, park is simply pressing here. Of course, we're going to drive. You don't want to move it forward. You're just going to press. Now notice how I move that forward when I press. A little bit of the confusion with Audi when they actually get into their core of the vehicle, especially their center armrest. To go to drive, I'm just going to take it and shift. And you can actually see it's highlighted up under particular hiding that lighting that can be pretty hard to see. So when you shift here, I'm going to take you to behind the steering wheel and show you exactly what that looks like. So primarily you are looking here. And I'm just going to take it and pull back that sport mode. For the sake of shifting right now, we're just going to stay one way. So I'm going to move it back to park. I'm going to go reverse, neutral, just pull back one time, and then drive. So when I go to drive, everything is shifting there as I shift. That's reverse, neutral, and then drive. Now it's showing sport simply because I have it in sport mode. To shift it to sport, I'm already in drive. I'm just gonna take it, pull back, and that actually shifts from sport to drive. Now, so I've got it in gear. We're driving away. You have your navigation and everything here. Everything you control here will reflect in your center screen. So as I go, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in navigation, press up, Press again to actually go maps. So just to show you, I was actually in reverse. That's the review camera. So I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like from when I press the navigation button. That's Navi. That's maps. So it's in map mode. Climate control. Climate soft. It's going to be a little bit hot today in the 80s here in Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm going to shift up to on. I'm going to turn my temperature all the way low. And I'm going to turn on my cool seats. Because this one has the prestige package, you do get the cool seats. So from here, I have my climate set. I have my side mirror set. Navigation in the center screen. Behind the steering wheel, I'm ready to take off. Tune in to my channel. You can pull up additional help for information. And learn how to control your vehicles 